If you like the video, please consider supporting James Corp on Patreon. Hi everyone, yeah. and welcome to week five of um of seven. Is it seven? Five of seven. Well, no. Yeah, seven. Because it was supposed to be eight, but I think we yeah because of my aunt falling over. How dare she? Um, we had to skip a week. Um, yeah, we weren't on last week. I had to work. Um, we aren't on next week because of bank holiday and people being on holiday um and me being at work potentially um so yeah we will uh we will pick up the week after um i'm going to be putting out an ad the advert for uh the fallout game that i'm going to be doing so if you're um interested in joining a stream of a fallout game for about eight weeks um sign up and uh we'll, we'll get that sorted i've got i'll have to message lloyd and see if i can arrange Meet it, get get him to get whoever fucking wrote Fallout, like get them on, uh, as an interview. That'd be the easiest thing, wouldn't it? I think. Um. But yeah, we're gonna be doing Warhammer, uh, Wrath and Glory. Well, Warhammer Forty K. I, I guess there is a difference between fantasy and this one. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, maybe by the end of the session, I'm gonna be killing. All the play no, I mean, um, maybe the players will survive this week's uh, massacre as they uh, as they uh, try and escape the depths of the uh, underhive that we're in. Don't um, sing it, bring it. So um, we're going to go around the table, get people to introduce themselves and who they're playing. But before that, if you're watching this on YouTube, to like and subscribe, and if you're watching this on Twitch, don't forget to hit that follow button if you haven't done so already, and. Hit that subscribe button if you're feeling particularly spicy and you've got a bit of money to spare or or you just want to support the channel some way, that's a good way. Or Patreon if you're not happy giving money to Amazon or Google or whatever. Um, it does really help. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. Um, I still haven't... I've been, I have been editing last time's, last week's episode, but... Uh, I've, I'm trying to make it <coughs> less breaky. Does that mean because we paused a lot last time, and I'm trying to like yep. trim out that and make it flow a bit better? But I haven't really. I can't seem to concentrate. Is that does anyone get that sometimes where you just can't focus on something very well? well oh yeah. Well, for very long. I mean, I'm in a phase of that at the moment. So um, bear with me. It'll be up probably sometime this week other than that let's go around the table let's start with uh, Neil <coughs> evening uh, my name is Neil and I'll be playing Davian Tor today Davian is an uh, uh, um, Inquisition interrogator who has found out that he's maybe a little bit in too deep because things were a little bit spicy last week That was it. That was it. Yeah. That was it. That was it. James, you good, bro? I accidentally muted myself and didn't fucking realise I'd mute myself. <laughs> so I was saying, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> good Lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Jesus, fix it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Oscar. Uh, I'm playing Ivan. Uh, L412. Uh, I'm an Adeptus Mechanicus uh, Lex Mechanicus, which means I'm a, essentially a book nerd. Uh, and I'm What's thinking about how everyone? The... Pardon? Except you want to lobotomize everyone. I don't think book nerds... Precisely. Wanna... Uh, I used to, at least. Um, uh, I'm thinking, how the hell am I going to manage to patch up our dear friend, the <laughs> sergeant, uh, who is quite beaten... <laughs> Uh, I've plenty of duct tape is probably what you'll need. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. Mason? Is it my turn? Yeah. I want to quote uh, from um, O'Shea Jackson Sr. Straight out of Black Ship, crazy mother psyker named Nicholas. I'll be playing a psyker, 
a sanctioned sucker. Um, <laughs> that's all I got. My name is Marcus Freeman. Um, can I can I plug something right quick, James? For thirty pounds, yeah. I understand. It's on the way. Hey, listen. If you like uh, uh, <clears throat> spiritual wellness, physical wellness, spir- physical and spiritual wellness, I have a podcast called the White Rabbit Podcast, available on RSS feed. Uh, coming soon to all of your DSPs. Please give that a shout or a listen, if you would. Thank you. God bless. Nathan. Yep, I'm uh, Nathan Clark. I'll be playing Sergeant Validius Payne, who is cut to pieces right now. And it should be, and I, I, I am, I am that shit y'all stepped on. Uh, I am the, I am the thing that was responsible for the mess at the last session. Um, but wow. that's okay. We'll, uh, we will, uh, yeah, we'll sort that out. And I second uh, Marcus's podcast, The White Rabbit. It's a, uh, it's fun to listen to. It's a great time. All right. Yeah, don't forget to do that. Um, what happened last week or the week before? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I got a little, I got a little, I got a little bored with the ho hum of an investigation, and I decided to pull a Martin Riggs and just jump on the car <laughs> and try to. Um, well, in all fairness, my character got some bad roles, and I was kind of flipping out, so I kind of stayed in character. And Oscar, uh, well, we should probably somebody else, not the not the crazy guy, but somebody else should should cover everything that happened why yeah, we, we were why we were in the basement of this place so we were in the ha- in the the depths of um the hive city on um the, the world that we're on um investigating the death of the governor and the disappearance of a number of other people um with the idea that this isn't quite what it all appears to be um by hook or by crook um, we've managed to find our way down to the darkest, darkest depths of the food processing part of this place um, and have discovered that there is a cult down there, which is generally considered to be a bad thing. Um, finding a gathering of this cult, um, we decided to try and infiltrate it. However, as one of us is a near fully armoured space marine, that might be a little bit difficult. And another one of us is a half robot person. That also might be a little bit difficult. And frankly, I'm not taking my Inquisition stuff off for anybody. So uh, I, I do have the highest stealth score in the in. The you are a that. sneaky space it's, marine. It was the wrath, crit, the wrath complications <laughs> that were getting me. But luckily, uh, our, our favorite pet sanction psycho was there to try and get in um, to the place and scope it out. Um, so uh, Nicholas did, and uh, the L, 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 whatever I can never remember the numbers, L14, and uh, the sergeant took the high road and climbed up the side of the building to look in from uh, uh, an observation port at the top and climbed down into the rigging at the top of the building. Um, And I was stopped from getting in because I'm clearly not as convincing in my big coat of death skulls. Um, And I was turned away. When we got, they got inside, there was a a gentleman there, a bald gentleman with a a collar, which I've now found out is the, the signature dress for bad people in 40k. Uh, and the man we were looking for, Garrett. Garrett, let's just check there. Yeah, Garrett. Um, on, a, on a plinth, there was some surreptitious transfer of information. One lot of people left in a car, whilst the other stood there and basically exhorted the crowd that the, uh, the star mother was about to arrive and uh, all of her star children should rise up and overthrow the uh, the oligarchs further up the uh, tower, um, which again, having only in between sessions read Inquisition 101, how to deal with gene stealer cults, would have scared the life out of me too. However, what it did do was cause our sergeant to have a few flashbacks to his interesting time with the Tyranids, and uh, things started to go a little bit wrong from there, um, he decided to go solo, uh, got outside and uh, intercepted the car that was um, that was driving away um, by jumping on it. Um, there was a fracas 
inside. Um, various, that there may have been chain swords and laser pistols going off. It, it, you know, it's very hard to have the details in such chaos. We all managed to get to the same place at the same time to find the sergeant fighting a lot of sort of half gene steelery altered mutant death things that were ripping him apart. So we decided <laughs> that he needed some help and helped him out by ripping them apart. Um, we we captured one of them. We captured the, 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 the leader. We killed Garrett and everything had sort of gone quiet at that point in time as the shooting stopped, and the only thing we could hear was the gentle trickle of blood out of the sergeant's armour as he gently started to die next to us from the, 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 man, the amount of death that he'd managed to acquire. And that's where we left the game. Cool. So, um, I am going to be... What, you want caviar? What? Uh, caviar. Neil, I want to say that uh, when you told me earlier, all, all I thought about after the game was played when you were like, why didn't you just set yourself on fire and walk through the crowd? That's all I thought about for a week straight. I am pissed off. I missed the opportunity. So let's play games, baby. Let's play games. Let's play games. Yeah, you want to race say. car in the red? Right. Yeah. So, I'll show you race car in the red. So, yeah. so as of now, we are going to be using the optional initiative rule. Which basically you roll your initiative, and um, rather than you going at that, it, have any of you played Edge of the Empire or anything like that? Yep. Basically, you roll, uh, you get P assigned a PC slot. Basically, you just roll. It, it works pretty much the same way. You decide who goes first, who goes next, etc., etc. Yeah. You can still uh, interrupt. Um, uh, obviously, if you have all your turns first, then you don't need to use an interrupt. But if you don't. You can you can spend glory to go. I want to take the initiative or whatever, and and go before that person. Um, there's a few things we did get wrong last week. Um, like what gun was you using, Nathan, in the combat? I was using a hot shot laser gun. Yeah, you can't because you, you was engaged with uh, a bunch of uh, hybrids. You can't actually use that in close combat. You can only use a pistol. Okay. Okay. But is our is our glory accurate right now? I believe I so. so yeah. you did spend we were we some, were but... yeah we were using it pretty. I was using it. Does he get reset you every mean... session? I can't remember if he gets reset every session. No, always. don't do that. Don't do that. All don't right. reset it every session. Keep it keep it a running tally. Right. So. So as you come back into the game. Lying on the roof of the car is um, uh, 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 a Sergeant Payne uh, who looks quite badly messed up. Um, there is, uh, is the wall, I assume the wall of fire has been ended. There is a Magus that. Uh, uh, Davian. Davian, oh my god, has uh, placed something on. Uh, some sort of uh, torture device. What's everyone else doing? Um, <clears throat> so, fortunately for uh, for sergeants, our, our our bleeding sergeant here, I spent my fifty XP <clears throat> on a talent called regeneration. Not extra healing skill. Yes, I am. That's an extra will, healing I skill. I will say that I have something called a monitorum. Oh no, yeah, a monitorum. So if um nope, I don't have that. I have a slate monitron. So um anybody who is looking, so it shows it's a screen on my wrist that shows like my vitals and stuff. And uh that my cause my suit monitors it. So anybody that's gonna give me a Medicaid test um to heal wounds gets plus two bonus dice. Because you're okay. giving, I'm giving you the answers to the test. Well, right I've on, got regeneration, right so, so that's that's healing right there up the front. I can just kick that off. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that that's what it is. Yeah, I slide down the side of the building using my levitation magnetic magne magnetic levitation. Bookworm. 
Okay. So, so I'll box some orders. I'll say, um, Nicholas, can you stabilize the sergeant? For sure. I'll, L, I'll get L4, on that. L14, can you keep the, the crowds back? Um, and I'll just keep this mega stunned using my uh, there is excruciator. Well, can you make sure there's not a crowd? Nobody comes after us. Um, and then I'll make sure he's stunned. And then we need to so we need to be ex well, we need to get out of here. We need to be extracted from this place, don't we? Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> so if I so I'm gonna roll for regeneration. Yep. A psychic mastery test, and you said it I I have a bonus pool of two, Nathan. No, no, no. That's only if you're making medical tests. Got not it. Psycho, okay. Not psycho powers. Yeah. Can we roll for it. Yes, please. You got it coming up. Heck yeah. Oh, nine successes with two shifts. <clears throat> All right, read what the power does. Hmm. Sorry, my bad. You could. My bad. Sorry about that. My bad. Talents, 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 regeneration. Your body, <clears throat> once activated, you can use this power to heal injuries at a phenomenal rate and in time even grow lost limbs or body parts. While your power is sustained, you heal one wound per round. If you're at maximum wounds, you heal one shot per round. I think that's a only on you power. No. Yes. Hold on. That's what it sounds like. That's what the text sounds like. Hold on. Let me see if that's. Let me see. I could have swore that was like the yeah. healing. Yeah. Self. Range self. It's self. Yeah. Good yeah. God. So, so while the <laughs> Mr. Glowy eyes uh, tries to heal right. himself, I I walk <laughs> over to our dear friend the sergeant. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, so if you're injured at all, you start you start healing some wounds. Well, you got one legs. shock. You'll you'll regenerate the the shock. He's like jumping up and down like, I don't know guys, I'm feeling kinda good. I'm, yeah. feeling, I'm feeling all right about this. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Alright, so uh when you start when you start stitching me and hitting me with uh Cauterizing right. lasers and stuff. Also, so if you're you doing a Medicaid test, I believe you need to get because you've sustained one injury, haven't you? Like one proper injury, Nathan. Is that correct? Yes, I've lost fingers. So yes, yeah, so you need so the these. I think the DC is t a two or an additional two, from what I remember reading. Um, I did read it, so don't worry about that. I just double did you see? Did you pass that 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 uh, roll, Oscar? Huh? You passed the roll. What roll? Did, did did you roll already for the Medicaid test? Nope, I haven't rolled yet. Where are you at? Uh, I'm adding the DNs. Uh, I have a dice pool of eight. Oh, okay. All right. I'm at five. Never mind. Well, that's because I have a high intelligence. I'm not. I mean, I'm not actually good at Medicaid itself. I'm good at intelligence. I understand, sir. I'm I'm good at making assumptions. This blood probably should go into the body. <laughs> so it's a DN of five then. It's a DN of four, I believe. Okay. There we go. Seven successes. Oh. Ooh, something oh. unexpected happens. So, it's we can... Okay, you didn't let me finish what I was oh, saying. Oh, sorry, I, I, I thought... Never mind. Uh, so, um, because with it, you can, you can roll on the table, but you can also decide to make up our own shit as we go along as well, which is yes, uh, some part of the rules. Um, so, I was thinking, maybe you have to cut away some of the armour to get actually to his... Um, but you might have to remove some of the armor. Yeah. Lowering its armor point by one or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay no. with that. It's not my armor. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm glad you guys are okay with that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, let me, uh, how many points yeah. you want me to take it down? Just by one. All right, stats, value, current, rate. But three. you do get six wounds back. No, no, you don't. You don't. No, you don't. Not six. Three wounds back. Can I use the shift to increase it by one? Yeah, he does have a shift. So he is four? Oh, no, no, no. That's not how it fucking works. Yes. Uh, what's your Medicaid test? What's your, what's your attribute? What's the skill rating? My skill value or the total? The, the 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 skill value, one. Okay, Nathan, you get two wounds back. You are now no longer dying. Maybe I should increase my Medicaid. <laughs> yeah, because it's based on your Medicaid rating. Do I still yeah. have full shock? Uh, he can do. Uh, you could do an additional test to remove the shock, but you might have a chance to have a 10 minute breather and recover recover stuff. Gotcha, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. <sighs> What's it called? What's it called? What's it? It's called resting, isn't it? Uh, it's called a regroup. So it's just, oh no, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, can. It's, uh... it's about one hour. Uh, it generally occurs between encounters and affords you time to check ammo, tend injuries. Access to current situation, search tactics, and quickly grab something to eat and drink. Mm. Well, I think that what we can do is, is we can drag the body of this Magus off somewhere, hole up somewhere, and just work out what we're going to do now, because we're essentially in hostile territory now with the body of a gene stealer hybrid. Um, and we need to get out of here. because we Can need I to do... Can I Go do a it. quick search on the bodies? Uh, what are you looking for? Loot, stuff, items. Right. Well, you probably won't want to touch their stuff because it's been it's, a, it's been in the hands of a bunch of Xenos. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Filth. Let it burn. So yeah, drag the you know kick the door in on some hab unit that's nearby, and um, and and regroup and just work out what we're going to do. In question of torn, might we want uh, the something to proof of the gene stealer incursion? <laughs> I point at the body of the gene stealer mage just we have with us. That there is our proof. But he looks mostly human. Mostly human. Can we take a I head? Mean, compared to the acolytes, can we take a head or, or a hand killed. or a body? Yeah, we. I mean, you can take a take a hybrid head, can't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not that the magus isn't proof proof enough, right? But you know, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, sure, one Sergeant, of you ha yeah. So during, Payne, like, sorry, so during this. During this regroup, um, the healer can tend to uh, like pain's wound and or one of the characters' wounds, and you'd get uh, and you'd get another wound back. And I also have gallows humor. So, um, if I take a simple action, make a grim joke whenever uh, I'm wounded or suffering from a condition, as long as I'm still able to speak, I can make a DN2 fellowship attribute test. If I succeed, um, I and any allies that can hear me make the joke recover shock equal to my rank plus the number of icons rolled. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap awake and like yep. sn snap up to the seated position you, you, and then definitely... roll off the hood of the car and then fall flat on my face and stand straight up like ready to like shoot something and then I'm going to like see that everything's kind of dealt with and I'm kind of like lean against the car and I'm going to be like okay that got out of hand quick didn't it <laughs> <laughs> yes it did yes it did I may have been crazy and I point at uh, I point at uh, LV426 and I'm like but I was right by that the way, true. I want my grenade back. <laughs> you seem to have a no throw policy, and I have a will throw policy, so I would like my hand grenade back. Yeah. What do you mean? I used it. 
Oh, did you use it? No. Okay, yeah. yeah. Shame on you. Give me the grenade back. He tossed <laughs> you that right grenade back. in good faith. All right, uh, let's make a fellowship test. Bing. DN. Two. I have removed the grenade, so it's now for you to add. Okay. Oh, there's no way for me to uh, hold on a sec here. Okay. I'll get myself two then. Boom. Failure. Jeez. All right. That joke. That joke doesn't go over well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're still exhausted, hindered, yeah, yeah. and wounded. Cool. I'll uh, I'll say this isn't the time to be making jokes, Sergeant. The entire, you know, if just one of these things escapes from this planet, the entire Gilead system could be infected if it isn't already. So we need to get our game faces on. We need mm -hmm. to get back up and report this to the to Veronius, um, because as much as I would like to think that we're capable of dealing with it, the four of us are not going to be able to clean out an entire planet's worth of potential infiltration. So we need to get this body back to the transport tubes as quickly as possible mm. and as safely as possible. Mm. He Options. Starts wake, he starts to wake up, by the way. I'll just zap him again. Okay. <laughs> Press the button again. Push you. <laughs> Maybe we should stop by the Magus and inform him as well if the curtain has already begun. Can you contact the Adeptus Mechanicus Magus and um, do you have a way to contact and some sort of, I don't know, Omnisire internet thing? Um, I don't, I don't, I've got absolutely no idea how you work. Um, I, I wave a dot slate. I, I'm not sure if this is connected properly. Okay, but yes, that's probably a good idea. At least, you know, it's highly unlikely that the... Uh, the Mechanicus have been infiltrated by this cult. Although, to be fair, we now can't be sure that the um, the two prefects that we've been dealing with haven't also been compromised. Yes, one was extremely ar arrogant. He might be, at mm. least. Or it was just plain stupidity. We should interrogate him. <laughs> and if you need anything cauterized, Sergeant Payne, I got you, brother. I think I'm holding together okay for now. All right. <laughs> so, what's your plan of action? How are Is you feeling? Sergeant Payne good enough to move? Then we should move. If not, let's just stay stabilized, get this guy up on his feet, and then move out. <laughs> I think myself and Oscar can kind of do a watch from where we're from from where we're at until he gets off on his well, feet. You're, and sort, then we just, just you're sort of in the open right here. Yeah, I'm all right to move. If uh, just keep an eye on the screen, I point to my monitor. If it goes red again, then stick me with something or bandage me up or something. All right. Yeah, I, did, I had you, said I had sure said that we. <laughs> I had said, James, that we'd find somewhere, like we'd kick the door down oh, to okay. the building or something like that to okay. find ourselves somewhere sheltered. Okay. Um, yeah. Myself. Uh, so, Nick, Nicholas, I assume you're like, you've still got your thing, your detective thing going on, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still going off. Hey, guys, we got to get out of here. We got to move. Uh, Sergeant Payne's in a vast spot. Is he good to move? If he is, we got to go. I'm pretty sure whatever's out there is coming. It, wait, here. it hasn't. It hasn't stopped going off since you pretty much got down here. Yeah, we gotta get out of here, fellas. Yeah. Is Sergeant Pan good to hook? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's, let's get out of here. Okay, Pan, can you carry the majors? Are you up for it? Yeah, I could drag the fucker. Okay. Who's gonna go point on this then? Uh. Nicholas, go on. 
Yeah, I'll go point on this one. 14, you take up the rear. I'll are you going to use what, gun are, what weapon are you going to use, Nicholas? What? What weapon are you going to use? Mind bullets. Okay. With mind bullets. <laughs> so what we're going to try and do, James, is we're going to try and stealth our way somehow, God help us, um, through the through back to the transport tubes that lead the, the trains that lead back up to yeah. the um, yep. surface. Yeah. I was going to go right. ahead. Whoever has the Vox bead to my bead, I was going to put the shroud back on, blend back in with the public and kind of go ahead, torch and make clear path. Yeah. That's that spot. Anything I'll, I'll call back. If it's too crazy, then it's, you know, then we're getting hopping and popping. Yeah. All right. Cool. Right. Hmm. Uh, Who's got the lowest stealth score? Probably me. I I I I gonna guess it's me. I mean, my my entire score's three. Mine's five. <laughs> I have four. Okay, and who's got the best stealth skill? That'd be Sergeant Payne. Yeah, Sergeant Payne. My okay. stealth score's so I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna say it's gonna be like an assisted role. So basically. Uh, Nathan, you get to elect what stat or what skill you're assi- giving them, and they can then roll using the attribute and the skill, basically. Oh, the attribute so, and my skill? No, just either one, and then and then they get to use the other. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's a combination of the two being rolled. Okay. Well, my attribute is five. And your skill? My skill is five as well. I'll go with skill because I'm going to guess that the lowest of us have just the attributes that are adding to it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, Neil or Nathan, who would like to do the role? Go on, Nathan, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah Nathan's got. You know, Don't forget, Nathan's lucky. injured though, because so he's going to be. Yeah, minus... my D- my DN's going to be five. All right. Well, I will then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got eight dice for this. That's in that good. case, your DN glory, is glory. going to be your DN is going to be four, Neil. Glory, glory. We do have glory. Yeah, that's awkward. That's that's just not just a bad roll. That's a shite roll. I'll use a point of wrath to reroll because that's a terrible roll. And then you can spend glory if you need to. Yeah. Um, and then glory. Glory before or glory after, James. It's, you can spend after. Yay! There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. So you have a few close calls with um, with with the civ- civilians down here, or whatever you want to call them down here, the heretics down here. Yeah. Um, uh, but it is getting late, and probably a majority of them have gone to sleep, or you you know have gone yeah gone home to wherever they wherever they live, their dirty little holes, and um, yeah, you manage to sneak back the way you came until you eventually get to one of the trains. You're good. Right. Now that we're now that we're back out. 14, can you contact the Adeptus Majors? And let them know 412, whatever. Um number boy. Um and let them know Basically, they were on our way and we're coming in hot. Um, and uh, yeah, we can get the train started and get going. Uh, I do a try at least. Uh, I see if I can reach them somehow with my stealth slate. So, what do you try to do? Or I try to connect uh, or contact the Abyss Mechanicus of this planet with my data slate. If that's possible. Sure, give us a tech roll. And somewhere in this hive world, Conrad Kurz is doing is doing the Emperor's work. 
Uh, Dean on that? Dean is five. Let's go. They've got no. there we go. A mobile data carrier, so. There we go. Fire. Good roll. Okay, yeah. so so um you eventually there isn't much of a connection down here to start with, which is where you have to sort of almost jury rig a connection or you know, you're sort yeah. of hunting around for a decent connection, which is why it was so much harder than it you know, than a standard roll. Um a lot of down here is neglected and forgotten. Or or not forgotten, but it's definitely neglected. Um yep. And yeah, you eventually managed to get on get a a connection to the uh tech tech priest. Was it a tech priest? Yes. I think it was a Magus. Yeah. A hey, question, uh is there a way that we can like so it's Sergeant Payne's is he He's at where he's at, but is there a way to continue to provide medical care any further than what we've given him, or is he just he's at where he's at right now? Well, like I said, uh, Ivan can heal him one more wound because okay. his Medicare is so is is pretty low, and that was during your regrouping section, you know, where you yep. regrouped for an hour, and I marked yep. that. But when does, at the uh, moment, when does shock when does shock heal? That is a good question. He can attempt to heal your shock separately. Is that another Medicaid roll though? It has to be healed with that? Yeah. Um Yeah, if you get a respite, you, you do heal all your wounds and your shock. I bet that's like a respite's like a an evening or something. A six hour yeah, it's basically a okay, six yeah, hour yeah, break. Okay. So we need to get where we're going and then see what's going to happen and then maybe take a take a break and get some hot for sure. going. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Warm if we showers. can't do something to get this guy plussed up a little bit further because in case you run into anything or something gets dicey, I don't I've want got, him. I've got a talent called Hardy that I could use. Right, what's that do? It gives me... Uh, I'm only going to do it if we get into combat, though. Because um, I can only do it once per, like, break or whatever. Um. It allows me to roll a DN3 toughness test, which is going to be up to five because I'm wounded. Uh, on a failure, I recover one shock. On a success, I recover one plus double double rank shock. So if also, we can't, if we can't get to you... help, can we can we hole up somewhere for a couple hours so we, we can get this guy back on his feet? No, no, that's where of... we're going. You're okay. in the all nest. Right, right. You're in the nest of the base. There's got not going to be much. Place where you're going to be able to hold up. Uh, hold yeah, up. we got to get to we got to get to the governor so we can inform so, him, and then we'll we'll take a break. So yeah, so Ivan, you get you know you get a uh, hello. Who is this? Not voice, but text. Yeah, this is uh, Ivan L four one two, retinue of uh, uh, Divian four. Uh, earlier contact via uh, personal meeting. Oh, uh, how are you? Not too good. Encountered um, um, heretical uh, incursion. Uh, suspect gene stealer cult. Uh, need assistance. About uh, to uh, yeah, heading in your direction. Uh, he uh, says um, uh, he, he responds. Uh, we'll 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 get a servitor group to meet you um, uh, once you're in the mid once you're in the mid mid section of the spire. And confirmed. M much appreciated. Yep. So, what's your plan? <clears throat> well, send up that nine line. I mean, as you're waiting, a train does pull up. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that the train pulls up. I'm going to go inside, scan it, make sure it's cool, good to go. 
so we can keep going. I'm going to scout ahead inside the train. What do I see? When you mean scan it, what do you mean by scan it? Well, I'm going to go scout uh, I'm gonna go scout it out. Make sure there's no there's no little surprises in there. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, give us a. Give us an investigation. Bro, oh, man, uh, investigation. Is that what you want? Investigation. Yes, please. Oof. Is it going to or be bad? Investigation or awareness, whatever, either, either or. It's the same. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's roll. Oh, my God. Well. Hey, there we go. There is nothing. There is nothing out of the ordinary on this train. All right. Got a point of glory. Yeah. Hey. Hey, we're good to go. Get on. Let's go. I drag the sure. uh, the Magus aboard okay. and deposit him in the corner and sit down right next to him. Okay. Okay. Our primary mission here was to discover what had happened to the governor, or at least what's probably happened to the governor, and then to solve the rest of these murders. We now know what the rest of these murders have been. They've been people being killed by this cult um, and they've been also stealing stuff to ferry down to the underworld. I've got no idea why. Something to do with trying to convince them of the nice things that they have up above. Um, mm -hmm. But hey-ho. So legitimately, we can say that we know what's happened. However, it's a far, far more serious threat here um, than we first suspected. Uh, so I'm going to ask something out of character here, James. Um, what would be the normal procedure for um, for the uh, if we suspected that there was an infestation on a planet? Uh, you'd report it to the Inquisition. So I'm giving myself a call <laughs> and saying hi. So yeah, uh, um What's the, we, what's the what's the Inquisition forces like in Gilead? Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Right. You're probably one of a one of a few or Inquisitor forces in the Gilead system. Fantastic. Which means pretty much we're on our own. Um, uh, you might. I mean, it with the current situation, probably the best bet is get. Get somewhere where you can communicate with uh, the rogue trader. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I'm not particularly convinced that either of the two prefects are 100% safe. Um, there's some shenanigans going on here for far too long. There's too much. There's too much wrong with this place for it to be right. I'm still I'm still minded of what they told us when we first arrived, that they weren't able to make their tithe. Yeah, but wasn't the uh, wasn't the wasn't the uh, the guy we you guys shot and killed on his way up to execute somebody? I'm yes. fairly certain. Yes. I'm fairly, yeah, yeah. I'm fairly certain they're okay. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that production slowed down because these guys have been infiltrating and winding it down. That's actually a really good. Well, no, this is the. Well, this was my point. First, that's a really good point. Well made. That if he was going to go and execute him, that he probably isn't part of the cult. So that was the first prefect that we met, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. The yep. one that wasn't an arrogant tosser. Um, yep. <coughs> but the point is, is that, yeah, that's right. <coughs> they were. They have been de decreasing output and not able to to reach that you know be barely able to do their tithe. He said, "How could we give? How could we give our tithe to the emperor when we're needed here?" Yeah, rubbish. Um, well, the problem problem is they can't give to a tithe because you're cut off from the em the rest of the empire. Yeah, but they could give it to us, couldn't they? Um, they responsible for giving contributing it to the system as well. So 
I am I am worried that there's a, a little bit of mismanagement gone on here. And in fact, that could be contributing to this idea that the 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 nobles are somehow, you know, it I'm trying to put it in so so they're creating a situation that will exacerbate the disquiet of the plebs um in order to get them to riot and rise up. Yeah, and as much as I would uh, I would love to glass this whole place, we can't afford to. We need it. No. Gilead so, Gilead needs this place yeah. to be running. So, so extending off this is off think, the table. Uh, it's off I the think, table. Yeah. Thank God, because I'm still here with that place. I'm s i am think we gotta get uh upper leadership on the same page as quick as possible. For sure. So let's go to uh so yeah, with Prefect Aurelius. Yeah, Prefect Aurelius. Yeah. Okay, so I assume you'll get on the train. But I assumed yeah. we were already on it. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought this is what we were talking right. about as we were traveling. Cool. cool. So as you're traveling, you know, up sections and whatever, all of a sudden, the train slows down. You know, first, first and foremost, you hear a click coming in from in front of the carriage, and then suddenly, oh, that's not good. And then suddenly, the carriage starts to slow down. Have we been disconnected from the main carriage? That's what it looks like. Um, what you want to do if you want to set yourselves up on on uh, in the carriage, have you like? I, would I did like the best a, I uh... could. All right, so just just for bear with me. So right, so you're sitting on boxes then, Oscar, yeah? Is that what you're doing? Okay, no, good. No, no, I was just trying to move around. It was grid-wise, so it was slightly slide, slider to do to the... Yeah, you can, can use have, uh... you can also use the arrow keys if you want to move around as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. can I have control of the mages, please, so I can move him? Uh, no, you just tell me where you're putting him. All right, I want to put him right where I'm pinging. Because remember, I what? said I was sitting on... in the corner with him. On the I just put him next, next to the box. Next to the box, like leaned up against the box, I guess. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll lean a token against the box, yeah? Whatever. I mean, that's where we're at. We're at that's where we're at. Yeah, and I'll be next to L214 because I'll be, uh, we'll be passing on information to the Magus. To the Magus the Magus that's on our side. <laughs> and Nicholas, where are you? We believe the Magus is on our side. I'm gonna go. Uh, here. So none of you sitting in seats. I am. Right. Cool. There's a seat there. So. So is this? Yeah. This make so the so out? the train so the the carriage slowly runs out of steam and comes to halt. I'll swear, Feth, um, and uh, say, get ready, something's happened. Pull out my chain sword. <laughs> Pull out Alexa, my pistol. Play Oh Baby I Like It Raw by Old Dirty Bastard. I slightly push the chain sword out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alexa, stop. Good grief. You said it. <laughs> I know. So I, uh, I'm like, I take a knee next to the mages, and I'm like, all right, all right. weapons check. And I start, uh, I start getting my LAS rifle ready. Yeah, so, I pick up my outfits and make a scan. Uh, okay, what does it do? Again? Does it just... An Auspex is a handheld scanning device uh, that detects numerous uh, phenomena uh, via high uh, degrees of accuracy. Effect. Uh, activating it as a combat action to detect enemy uh, emissions. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Emissions, motions, and other life signs within 50 meters. Plus, Daddy's gonna be using his his. He's putting some feelers out to feel for psychic presence. We've 
we, we've moved quite a bit and it doesn't cover that big of a range. So if we're moving and we're slowing down and I'm picking this up. I'm uh, I'm going to roll my hardy check uh, to recover shock. Um, James. Okay. I can we, can fight. we, can we, can we give him some more, some more Medicaid? Like, can we pump him up like quick? Right. All right. I get, fuck do. man. This, all right. I'm going to spend a point of wrath to uh, revive one left. How do I do this? Oh, you also recover no. wrath if you have a uh, rest section. Not a, not a regroup, but the other one. You Respite. Recover. Okay. Okay, so your right. specs, you detect Still. about uh, at least 10 or so life signs on the, perim out on the perimeter of the, of, of the area. What section? Ivan? Yeah, does that include us or excluding us? Uh, that's excluding you. Okay. We have about uh, and 10 Nick, life and, Nick, and Nicholas, what are you doing? Uh, so what I'm asking for, so I, I, I pinged here and I want to just know what's on either side and then on, of the carts, like to the, to the north side and to the south, like here and then down here. Well, what's on these it's, sides? It's, it's fucking dark is what you can see. <sighs> oh man! All right. A voice rings out. Either let your prisoner go, and we will allow you to walk out of here, or stay and die. I. <clears throat> I will shout back. Come and take him. Come back, back. Each of us is pledged to die for the Emperor anyway. Are you willing to die for your star god? I don't Facts. think so. Facts. <laughs> and I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt an intimidation on that one. Say, so, come on, you muppet. <laughs> I'm I'm also going to do an intimidation check as well. I mean, an intimidating shout as well. You can't both do it at the moment. Yeah, let me do it. What's the um it's gonna the, be against it's gonna be against their resolve. Which is for the DN, what's that? I can only do it on one, so I'm only do I c I I'm basically resolve. calling calling yeah. out I'm calling out the um the person who's just shouted out because I, I can only intimidate one person, remember. Seven. The DN is seven. Yes. Wow. Oh, well, I'll just put my 12 dice against that then. And let's roll. Wow. Approved. There you go. There okay. you go. Okay. So that dude now needs to make a uh, fear test with a DN of seven. Was there a place for rolling fear tests? Yes, I think so. I remember seeing it. Am I mad for that I saw it and I can't find it? Uh, 
Um, it's just it's their um, it's their resolve, isn't it? I think. Yeah, but there were. I think there was a like checkbox you could click. Fear test. Oh, fear. Okay, there we go. All right. <gasps> he rolled what? question marks. How many? Uh, how? What did he need to succeed? Seven. Okay. He shuts up. So oh, he, he is... says. He says, "Fine, have it your way." He is. He is. He is. He has the fear condition now. Peasant. Have a shouting contest with me. A me disturbing voice. I like that. Talk that smack, King. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I guess it's time to add everything to the initiative tracker, right? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. So just for my just for my personal reference again, how what's the space between each each square is is, is how I believe it's from me. One meter? Yeah. Ooh, baby. All right. I've got to check, though. I think it is. Yeah. It'll show me sounds... movement. Yep. Yeah, one meter is one meter. Yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. Right, uh, right. I'm gonna create an combat. Okay, um, okay, I need to split these into mobs. Also, just for uh, for flavor's sake, so we're all on the same page. Um, the piece of armor that uh, was removed from me is my left uh, my left forearm because uh, you had to you because I'm missing fingers. I'm yeah. missing like the bottom two fingers on my left hand. So you, had, in order to keep the bandage properly, you had to remove the armor. It was it was too damaged anyway. Yeah, it was chomped on by a. So remind me how we add ourselves to the initiative tracker, James. So right click on your token. Yeah. You see the cross swords? Yeah. I want click to. that button. Toggle combat. There was a firefight. Ha. Join my dice rolls of death. Or fucking Astra Militarum Trooper. Fuck these guys. Traitors. <laughs> fucking 10, Sergeant Payne? Really? We're all done. This is a really nice one. No, I'm not. I'm not all done. It took me like 20 minutes to throw this together. Yeah, yeah. 
best. Yeah, sure I really like no, I like it a lot. Uh, I just used the uh, previous map that I had and put a train cart on it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right. Um... Right, we good? Right. Okay. I think I'm by missing Nicholas on the tracker. Nicholas, you know, how did you catch the tracker? Where's the tracker at? You got to help me. Just uh, right-click your icon and then cl uh, click the uh, cross swords thing on it. Got it. There you go. And then hit the uh, go to the fist in the top uh, top right corner, the fist icon, and then hit that little D20 icon next to your name at the bottom. Boom. Okay, so hey, they yeah. get to go. They do get to act first. Now, did anyone want to see this initiative? It depends yeah. on what the I think I do, but it depends on what the fucking cult magic is doing. I really wish I could hide their names. He's uh he's bound is, is the cult magus the guy in front of me? Uh no. This is another cult magus. Because because the guy in front of me is out cold, right? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Then then I don't then I'm not gonna I don't know who's acting, so I'm not gonna I was gonna say if this guy's stern about to do something, I was gonna knife him in the forehead, but if this is something outside the train, then I don't I'm not gonna seize initiative. I don't know what's going on. My guy's just waiting to react. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh Neil. Uh I am going to um blindly just shoot out this window here, the one to, to my right, and vaguely um, just shoot my LAS pistol um, in a, a northeasterly direction from where I'm standing. Okay, so you shine your torch and you basically start shooting up a, uh, um, um, a, 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 a some sort of, uh, sort of carriage on the opposite side. Okay. Right. Uh, that appears to be stationary as well. It's not. It's not a full size carriage. It's almost like a, a, a car, like a small cargo container that probably carries the um, the okay, algae so now, up. Yeah, yeah. So I know there's a carriage there, right? Okay, because I couldn't see it. So that seems fair enough. Right? Yeah. Cool. Oh, on what side? On this side. So the north to the northeast of me, there's a carriage on the outside. Got it. Okay, I see. Yeah, it. that that's the wheel, right? Yeah. Cool. Right. Oh, that's my I think turn. you can you can just make out the edge though, I think, right there. Yep. Yep. Cool. Well, okay. Well, that's what I've done anyway, because I can't see anything, so yeah. So I will uh I will shout, however, at the end of my turn that uh Nicholas, this is not a time to be hiding your talents in a you know fe feel free to make them feel the Emperor's flame upon them. You got it. So I open the door for you. Or the window. For me? No, I was talking to uh, Neil. Uh, yeah. I did locked <laughs> oh, anyway. Look at the little door <laughs> icon. It's hilarious. Okay, Ivan? Uh, yeah. I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to... Stand and wait, I think. Get up from my seat and move. Are you holding your action? Yeah, yeah, I'm holding my action. That's what I'm doing. Okay, all right. Pain. All right. Um, hold action on this back door back here. Okay. Right here. Ready to light it up with my uh, with my LAS rifle. All right. Just so you know, if you hold your action and get to the end of the turn, you haven't done it, you lose it. All right. Yep. Okay. Right, let's have a look what I can do. It's quite tense, this. Mm? It's quite tense, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
The real question is once we deal with this, how are we going to get the fuck out of here? That's why we have a tech priest. Priest of the Omnissiah. <laughs> of course. Oh, hey, real quick. When, when we heard that voice, was that over a Vox or was that like, was that verbal? And if so, what direction did it come from? Um, because you're in a tunnel, it echoed around, so you're not entirely sure. Unless you want to give me an awareness roll. Yeah. Yeah. Right, DN is five. Four. DN is four. We go for four. Awareness rolls coming up. Two sec. No idea. It's all around. Over here. Okay, okay, okay. Over here. Want some candy? <laughs> Over there. In them trees. I see you. <laughs> you go for this much. I'm gonna have me some fun. <laughs> I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna um, have me some Yeah. Who's up? Who's up? I'm just I'm uh, just, James I'm just is looking plotting at, our demise. Yeah, I'm just looking at the darkness. Well, hang on, where are they? Fuck They're sake. staring into the abyss. Because there are darkness rules and it is dark. Yes. I can see one of them. Ha ha. Oh, wait, I am hindered, aren't I? Are you guys entangled or? Where the fuck are those rules? I know where they are in the book because I was reading them yesterday. Oh, fuck it. Um, okay. Uh, Nathan, what's your... What's your... Um, defense? Payne's defense is... Do, 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 do. Three. Okay, Dean is going to be mm. five because you're behind a barrier. Mm -hmm. pew, 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 pew. Awesome. James Chambers privately rolled some dice. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> okay, so something clanks off. So something hits the side of the uh, van, uh, not van, uh, hits the side of the, um, the, 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 In front of the, me? The, 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 uh, no, it hits, basically it hits, it, it's like they're trying to throw something at the window. Okay. And it hits the side, and it clicks to the ground, and there is a, there is a, uh, a fucking, roll me a D, roll me a D6, Nathan. Yeah, hit enter. Enter. Thank you. Just, just one I don't know why one. it said two d six. Sorry, I clicked one. That's all right. Don't worry. All right, all right. Enter. Split. Here it comes. No, no. I'll just use. Okay, so two, and then you got five, which is ten. Okay. All right. Yeah. So something hits. Hits the hits the side of the carriage, and then it lands ten meters this way, and explodes. So yeah, something something explodes over here. Nothing says old school like grenade scatter rules. And I go, uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> Um, I say, uh, I say contact three o'clock. Can I react to that? I, and can I react to that? 
You have a Nintendo uh, turning. Well, uh, sure. Um, well, Ivan is holding an action, but yeah. Oh, certainly. sorry. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not my turn yet. My bad. Really, really, we should be deciding. It should just say play a character rather than like the actual characters, because uh, you, you can decide who goes first and shit. So we're getting that yeah. wrong already. All right, Ivan, what do you want to do? I want to shoot the ones that I can barely see in the shadows. Okay. All right. Do you have any inf- Do you have any sight shit? Uh, I have my eye, which is a sight, sort of. No, but does it have dark? Does it have like? Can it see through no, dark? No, no, I don't have anything that has dark okay. vision. So, am I able to see them at all? Or you can see them. I'm just. I, that's what I was looking up. No, that's the wrong fucking book. Hold your action. Give me a second. I did have. I did read it. I just can't find the table on the. Uh, on the thing there's quite a few things you can do as well you can do pinning attacks and shit and basically pin people and stop them mm-hmm. from moving if you want to yeah uh, let's just make let's them try... pinning attack but... them yeah, but... I don't necessarily need to hit them I just want to make them not throw grenades at, grenades at us <laughs> yeah that's unfortunately it's probably not going to work 190, not 190. Okay. Right, so you're going to have a plus two to your DN for this. Mm-hmm. And let me just check uh, what the uh, shooting into doing the uh pin attack allows you to use suppressive fire to pin an enemy if you have a range weapon with what's your weapon got has it got salvo one uh, it's pistol reliable. You can't do a pinion attack unless it's got salvo. Okay, so you have the normal attack then. Yep. Plus two, plus two dn. The the defense is two, so it's dm four. Yep. Ref one. Do, 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 do. Yep, that should be it. Uh... Okay, you got a four, yeah. which, is, which is just enough to hit them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you also got a complication. Uh, roll a complication. I can't think of a complication right now. Yeah, should I roll damage afterwards? Yes, afterwards. Yes. Okay, somehow you step. How do you fall prone? I get. I guess you sort of well, overreach. You sort of turn around on the chair. Maybe you're still sitting down, or whether you stand up. I yeah, don't know. Precisely. I- as I stand up and turn around uh, to shoot with my macadendrite, I fall over because I miscalculated my point of balance. Okay, cool. Right, roll damage. Ooh. Eight is decent. Ooh. It's respectable. I see you. I see you, King. It's damage from eight, seven. Okay, they take one shock. It's probably not enough to hurt him properly, but it's something. Your uh, your presence is felt. It does help if I do it on the token. Of course, what's the... Uh, they call the laser weapons in the, the Imperium. They call them flashlights. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. One doesn't do much, but when you have a hundred of them. Yeah. Flashlights. <laughs> But 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 shouldn't that light illuminate that general area but for a moment? It's too small. Yeah, we can see the general icon down there. 
It's like can't, you can't see what it is yet. Pointer, we can see something. The laser point doesn't really illuminate that much. I understand. And there was also okay. something down here too. It's moved since. Right. Uh. Okay. Nicholas. All right. So, buddy, right here, right? Right. Uh, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna wall of fire. It's 20 meters, so he's here. And my intent is to go uh, right all the way down to this little thing here. And that's what? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight nine, ten. But what the point is, I want to have it wrap around from, from here to here. And then however many points that I have, like, I mean, there's left I have left to go this direction okay over our train okay like an l shaped yeah okay so you need to give me a roll then yeah you got it one second my bad fellas i'm rolling psychic mastery correct yeah i don't know if they, if, they, if you get modifiers on the psychic mastery it's okay. I got wrath and I got glory. So let's play games. It's a metric ton of dice. Eight successes with two possible shifts. Heck yeah. So, uh, Mason... Do yeah. do psychic powers get modified at all, like in of darkness or anything? Uh, say it again. I don't. No, does, he doesn't. No. Does psychic it's, powers get modified by darkness? No, it's line of sight. I saw homeboy shoot him. The the, the direction he's there, I can see. Little buddy, it, it's all line of sight. All right. He doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter that it's. Yeah. Okay. Right, and where, where's it going from? So I want to hit, I, I see that, right? Yeah. And it's a giant wall. So I want to go from here to, this is a cart right here, correct? Yep. All right, so from this guy here, a straight line down yep. to here. Yep. And that's what? And have, One, and two, three, four, it? five, six, seven, eight, 20 meters. One, two, All three, right. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 10 from here to here right, right. And that's 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 is here yep right 19 19 and 20 is right here okay Light it up. Yeah, because it's as simple as that. How long does this last for? Say it again. How long does it last for? Uh, one turn. And that's if I can, I mean, pending the next turn, I choose to sustain that burn. Okay. Right, and how much damage do they take for being in it? One second, mate. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. And, all right. So, wall of flame is as long. Creatures that attempt to pass through the wall of flame are caught inside of it when it's, when it's summoned, immediately take 12 plus 1 ED and are on fire. Creatures within two meters immediately take 10. Plus one ED damage when the wall is summoned, and each and and again, again, uh, and again. So each creatures turn. within two meters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so they're taking yeah, damage. They, they fucked with the wrong car, James. This You're is the taking not damage. I'm no, taking I'll, damage. I went here. Here. 
to here. Yeah, he made an L. He didn't make a box. And then here. And up to here. And over to here. I thought you went like I thought you went like I thought you wanted to go like that. No, sir. Like that. No. Okay. So I I saw a buddy right here first, right? Because that's when L4 one two shot him. So I was like, all right, cool. Straight shot all the way down from that guy to the end of this thing here, because they're probably over there. And then have that wall go here and then up to here and then around to here. Okay. Because they activated our trap card. That's why. <laughs> yes. Spoof. So, 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 and how much damage does this fella take? So if you're caught eight. in the flame, it's 12 plus one. You got to roll a D6, um, Marcus. And then if it gets, if it's an icon, it's one more point of damage. Okay. So roll a one D6. Yeah. And if you get a uh, five or a six, it's uh, another point of damage. Or a four and a five uh, is a point of damage. If it's a six, it's two. Uh, does the psychic powers not have macros? Yeah, they do. There you go. How are you rolling the psychic power, by the way? No, he's rolling psychic mastery instead of the actual power. Yeah, if you if you actually click on the power, it's all built into the power itself. And it so would do it you do that like, a, like an attack. You do that, and then you can roll damage and shit like that. So you should be rolling from the uh, combat section. Uh, okay. I'm going to re-roll. Can't you just use the one that you just oh. rolled? It's essentially the same. Because that was a badass roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the DN is eight. Because the power, the power, the power, the, the, the thing you need to roll is eight or more. Yeah, but it rolled X successes last time. So it's the same roll as you just did. Yeah, yeah. Sure, hit roll damage for me. Uh, you want me so I just rolled a D6. No, no, no. Look at the window of the look at the window. He just rolled the power from the powers page. Just roll damage from well, there. It's in the combat. It's in the combat section. If you click combat on your character sheet. Got it. All right. You, want me you to can roll everything from there. But just hit roll damage. There should be a tape. There should be in, a in the thing I rolled, which is exactly the same. Same numbers of successes, more or less. And just hit roll damage, please. It's in the it's in the chat window where where all the dice rolls come up, Marcus. Got so, it, got it, got it. Okay, yeah, I got, yeah, okay, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Roll damage, roll damage now. Just hit it. Not roll. There it goes. Twelve damage. Okay. Resilience is seven. Seven from twelve is five. We're gonna roll determination. What about the apply on fire? Uh let me apply it. I think you have to click on the token to apply it. And can we have some illumination in this dark place? There is illumination. Oh, we already have. What? I just roll the wall of fire from like here to here. Yeah, but there's stuff in the way. We can't see past stuff. Yeah, right, yeah, but yeah. right, but it, it, it should still be illuminating, right? That's that's the I mean it's still fire. Yeah, it but is our, illuminated. Our, our icons can't see it because we're behind walls. So there's fire out there, but there's no windows for us to see out to see that stuff yet. If you moved if you moved your token, the yeah. shadows would move. Um correct, James? Yeah, it's good. If you unclick your token, you can see everything that everyone sees. Yeah. Right. So it takes. Okay, so. Students is seven. He's five wounds. Five wounds. He gets to do a. Termination. Five wounds. 
This game is crunchy. It's so crunchy. It's so crunchy. So he takes two wounds and free shock. Yeah. Let's not do on that. Let's do on this. Two wounds. Free shock. Okay. Right. That's that's uh okay. This one and then how much do they take if they're out of How much damage do they take if they're two meters? I don't understand how this works, but okay. Ten plus. Give me what you, ten plus one. If they're within two one. meters of the wall. Yeah. Yep, ten yeah. plus one. Um, Sounds like already rolled a. What do you mean ten? Sorry, what do you mean so, by so, ten plus one? I read it to you. Creatures that attempt to pass through the wall of flame that are caught Don't read the whole it. thing. Don't read the whole thing. I just want to know. It. I just want to know. Creatures within two meters will take two plus one damage when the wall is summoned, and again each turn they end, they end within two meters of the wall. So ten plus one. Yeah. Ten plus ten, one. Ten, ten plus one is ten damage plus one extra damage dice. So it's like ten, and then you roll one damage, right, okay. one damage dice. So it's d six plus ten, then yeah. That's yes. why I was trying to figure out what what it meant. All right. Okay, that's, that's fifteen. No, that's no, no, eleven. No. Yeah, oh. there, remember, Jim, remember James, the four and the five only count as oh, one, yeah. and yeah. the six count as two icons. Yeah. Right. So it's eleven. Eleven, so 11 minus seven 11. is four. Oh fuck! Have I? Okay, eleven. Uh, eleven minus seven is four. Yes, four. This I wish this was all made. Four. Just taking four wounds. He gets to do determination. Four wounds. This is crunchy. So you take three wounds and one shock. And they're not on fire though, right? Because they're too many. Yes. They're too many. No, what? they're they're on fire. They're on fire. Roll. Oh no, not the two meters ones. Only the one hit by it. Okay. Yeah, only the ones who are in the flames. Okay. All right. Did you apply apply the on fire damage? Well, the on fire. Yeah, the on fire damage applies in his turn. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. I've got the wrong thing. He's going to move up to the window and he's going to shoot at the psyker. What's your defense? One second. I'm going to use my held action after this, James. Combat page under general. Got you, got you, got you. Defense is two. Okay. Really? Fuck you. Garbage. Okay. They don't do anything. All right. Awesome. All right. That's his turn. All right. What All do right. you want? I'm gonna shoot the. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the guy that is this guy down here. That I can what see. Guy? I'm highlighting it. This. I don't okay. Know, I shift. He, all right. He's he's behind cover. Okay. Just what's the um what's the DN? And there's a wall of fire, right? Which is how big, how how tall is this wall of fire? Give me one sec. I want to say That's cool, never mind. All right, just end turn. 
No, it's three. It's uh, two meters high. Yeah, don't worry about it. it it's cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, you can still take a shot at him. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Want to make sure this is a new turn, right? Yep, All right? Play Got characters it. it was wrecked. Um, I'm good to let Davian act. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm so. There's a there's one here on the left hand on the right hand side. Here. So I'm going to yeah. move up here and uh, plunge plunge my um, my chainsaw through the window um, as that one's come up to the window. I like it. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, their defense is two. <laughs> Uh, so the end is two. Uh, got six glory at the minute, so I will spend a point of glory to add an extra dice to my dice pool. Ooh. That's a success. So that's nine damage. <laughs> I see you, King. Hey, resilience is seven. That's two wounds. What if I just what have, what have I just stuck my sword into? Uh, it looks like a um as a defense person of the like a like seat defense, right? Is what I'm yeah. thinking. So it's like an, not they're not astra. They're not full in, in, in. They're not full um, enforcers, right? They're like well, it, milit They're 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 like the citizen defense force of the. Of yeah, the got it. Get yeah, got it. Planetary defense force. Yeah. Space space force. Yeah. They got stubbers. <laughs> Little bastards. <laughs> Stuffy bastards. <laughs> so it just takes two shock. It's a bit stunned as it sees the chainsaw go through this window and it. No, don't do that, James. Oh, <laughs> cool. Okay. Is that what you're doing? That is that is my my goal. I will I'll even get through and click end turn because that's what I should do, couldn't I? Because I've already done it. Don't worry. Oh, right. Okay. As a reminder, James. Whenever yeah. the person that the person that spoke yeah. does anything, they're at plus two difficulty to do anything because they're shitting themselves. They've they've fucked off. <laughs> Shit is going down. Hey, real quick, so that Colt Magus is not our Colt Magus. That's somebody not else. ours. That's All right, got it. Yeah. But we're not going to meta game. We don't know he's out there. Ivan. Or oh, my turn already? Or, well, it's a player character, so whoever wants to go next. I, know, I can go next on, unless someone else wants to intervene. Um, nah, go ahead. I'm right after you anyway, so I'll go then. Yeah. Uh, I want to move... Okay, I want to get up, first of all, uh, which is a free action, if I understand the right rules correctly. It's a move action, isn't it? Standing up from prone? I believe. Uh, standing up from pro is a free action if your turn. Uh, if it stand up, 
then it's uh, where you can only uh, do a standard move option. You can't use combat options such as brace or aim. Character may use simple actions to help stand up limited to his where he's prone. Stand up prone. It's a free action on your turn. If you stand up this way, you can only use the standard move reduction. All right. Okay. So that means you can stand up and move. Yeah. But I can't run, for example. No. Right. So I remove my prone condition, and then I want to move up to this broken window. How broken is it? I think that's a door. No, no, no. They're, no, they're windows. All of them are windows. Yeah, they've just been a uh, yeah, they've just been shut. It's just I, I've set it so that it can be open and closed, right? Gotcha. What is the um? What are the? Where are the doors to this thing? Are they on either, either end? Yeah, they're either on either end. end. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Okay, so I suppose the entire window shattered, or is it just a hole in it? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'd say it's shattered. Yeah. Okay, so I want to stick my gun mechadendrit out, uh, line it towards the one who's standing next to the cart and shoot at him. Mechadendrite, that sounds so disgusting. It sounds like sure. hentai. Yeah. Like, like the gangster move, but with a mechadendrite instead. <laughs> sounds like okay, a tentacle. Okay, so you're out, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Nasty. So do you have a okay. DN of two, right? Uh, DN of two, yep. Uh, no extra bonus. Um, yeah, roll. All the complications, always. Let's see if I fall over again. That can't be out of our ammo. Yes, you have to roll again. Uh, no, fuck this. No, and you can't drop it. But I want to say you lean too far out of the window and fall out of the window. Okay. Your gyroscope needs working over. It really yes, does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. Good Lord. Damage is seven. Resistance is... Resilience is seven. So I think he well, takes I do nothing. one... Takes no. If you don't, he, he takes one shock, I believe. Okay. Okay, that's your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Valius is me. All right. Um, you get to the weapon shop of fire. Okay. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna grab uh, Julio here, the unconscious guy in front of me. And I'm basically going to, I'm going to drag him behind me to here. Okay. I'm just going to, you know, grab him, do a 360, drop him there. And then I'm going to take a knee and I'm going to hold action to attack anything coming through this front door here. I'm just going to light it up full auto as soon as it walks through the front door or as soon as if this door gets opened. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So I know which door I'm going to go through then. <laughs> Sorry, uh, and turn. There we go. Right. So on if he's fire. on fire, <laughs> on fire. He's running around giving us a Wilhelm scream. No, not the bees. Oh, there it is. So one D three mortal wounds at the start of each turn. Well, he is only a mob, so he probably just dies. Yeah, he just dies. He's just run around with his head engulfed in flames, <laughs> screaming like a hoe, looking like a lick, looking like a, like a lit match, <laughs> screaming like a hoe. Ah. And I scream. Dine on the Emperor's phallus, you coward. Oh, jeez. 
Oh wait, so there are hordes. They're not just one person. There are several. Uh, no, it's a gr it's a mob. So it's a group of it's a okay. group of tokens that are together. Okay. Right, I, Nicholas. Uh, I approve of that tactic. You're right, you're on your own, buddy. Uh, the homeboy in the bottom died, right? Uh, there's a lot of screaming, and then there's silence. Because <laughs> there's a 10-foot fucking form of fire in front of your vision. It's a raging inferno. And then dude, dude uh, right here is still in that fire, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to roll to sustain. Okay. <clears throat> One second. Sleep now in the fire. Yep. Yep. I don't okay, know you do sustain this, it. But keep the party going. Roll damage? No. There's no one in. There's no one in in the fire that's alive. Good. <laughs> Good. Just a people barbecue. Are you aching? Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Is that your turn? Or bacon? It's my turn. <laughs> Who put snakes on the Barbie? Die, traitors. Right, he, he is going to disengage from you, Neil. Who is he? Yeah, he can. He can. That's what gets, what gets he's going to step back. And he's going to shoot at the, um, the silly... Um, that one, that fella. The tech priest. <clears throat> okay. It was an honor serving uh, with you guys. You good, bro? We got you next turn. Don't worry about it. Beware of windows. What's your defense? <laughs> One. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Uh, let's, let's, like, okay. let's, say, let's say a little prayer for my guy. Ouch. Ooh. Ouch. That's Ouch. Because tenses. I don't have any armor. I'm just wearing rags. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Seven damage. What's your resilience? Uh, five. Okay. So you're going to take two wounds. Roll determination. And put two wounds in the um, determination section. Okay, you just take two shot. There you go. See that terry cloth robe's coming in handy. That's it. It was mm -hmm. blessed by the Omniscite. Yeah. Uh, does that increase automatically, or do I need to do it manually? You have to do it manually, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm at max shock. I will grab that guy and do awful things with that tendrite you have there. Pew, pew, pew. Leaps. A chain stealer comes r rushing through the door behind you. Where? That door. Oh, is, it, you... is it invisible? It shouldn't be. I, I made it un... Have I... We can't see shit. Oh, okay. I, I thought I, I, thought I oh, unvisaled it. it. Yeah, no, nah, he, he ain't that close. Oh, he is. Well, it was he's... a nice honor knowing you. And he's <laughs> going to attack, he's, he's he's gonna attack the... Um, uh, the, 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 the... The psychic person... Right, what's your defense, Nicholas? Two. Eight oh. successes. I believe oh. that's a hit. 
Oh, he's hit. 14 damage. AP2. AP2, yeah. Uh, does the rending uh, come in effect? Uh, no, because he didn't get a 6 on his... Oh, he's not. I'm not going to shift. Uh, so that's yeah, that's fourteen damage, Nicholas. You probably want to do a determination to try and reduce it some of it. Yeah, you want to What's your it. armor? Or yeah, what's your resilience? Four. Okay, so that's ten damage. How do I roll that? Click on uh, click on your click. character sheet on the combat section. Click got it, on got determination. It. And then uh, and then in the wound section, you put the number of wounds that you're taking. So yeah, it's that's ten what, wounds. Eight, ten wounds. Ten. Yeah. All right. Okay, you Oof. take nine wounds and one shock. Can I re-roll that? Yeah. You got, yeah, I'm uh, re rolling that. If you got any, if you if you got any wrath left, I do. I got one wrath left. Have you? Yeah, I only used one. I had two. I have, I have more than that. We have uh, we have six glory. Oh, he just allowed me to reroll. So he could he could add some. He had some bonus dice there too, because. Okay, so I will roll. Termination. You said it was. You said it was ten wounds. Are you re-rolling? Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll. No, no. Hold just on, right hold click on. on. So right click on the roll that you've just done, where your name is, and just click re-roll. Okay. But how do I add in the wrath? To add more dice to that. I mean the the glory. Uh, well, we we'll add it. the we'll add the glory dice afterwards. Yeah. Okay. But if you're using wrath, you click. You just click reroll, right? I have to say, I have no more wrath left. I know you I have one. Look you must have spent sheet. it. Yeah, you probably spent it already. So roll, uh, roll three glory. All right. Uh, yeah, you're looking for fours and fives, and sixes. Yeah, so just roll, uh, roll three d six. All right, three D six. Okay, so that's two. So that shifts to So that's that becomes seven wounds and free shock. Yep. Yeah. Which are wounds at? Seven. I have okay, seven yeah. wounds. Yeah, I'm down. And uh, what's your shock? Eight. Okay. All right. Yep. So it's what? What's that's seven wounds in one shock, you said? Three shock. Got it. All right. Okay, you get a memory memorable injury. Broken jaw. Ooh, swiped you across the face. Okay. Rack. Let's hope it doesn't get worse if it inflicts your abilities to cast psychic powers. Media options, tech options, charging. Media tech options. <clears throat> 
Why are you not opening? I think charging is double their movement, right? Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Okay. And you've got to move at least four. Bam! Gene Sealer sh strikes out at the Magus. Cool. At the Magus? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight successes, Magus defences. Zero, because he's oh, unconscious. I, I guess so, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's prone, but uh, yeah. Uh, I did read it on prone, that there is something that happens. It's two get less. bonus dice, yeah. The D and it's two less. Yeah. All right. All right, so resilience is five, becomes three. What was he hitting on? Oh, three. Okay. Eight. Roll damage. That's 15 damage to the Magus. I believe that's a dead Magus. That's good. It could be a dead Magus, yeah. So how rigid, <laughs> how rigid James, are, uh, are held actions? Uh, why? Like, can I change a held action? Or is it like do? Because I said I was watching the door. I'm held to watching the door. Oh, uh, why did you want to shoot the engine sealer? No, I was thinking of turning, dropping a grenade, and hiding behind this chair up here in this crate. But I don't know. Maybe I'll do that next on my next turn. Yeah, because uh, it went it went after us. So. Oh no! Wait, it's the top of the round, isn't it? Yes. Okay, never mind then. We're good. We're good. We're good. Never mind. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, they they just wanted to kill the yeah. But anyway, okay. Right. Darwin. Right. So I am going to rush as much as you can rush when you're moving one meter across here, seeing this guy who's just loomed in on poor old Nicholas and I'm going to smash into this one um, and try and um, hit him with me chainsaw but I also really want to bull rush him out of that window okay sure defence is uh, five defence is five I'll be having two glory to spend thank you that's a stupidly high defense. How much glory did did Nicholas use last round? Two, three, three. three. only three, two. No, I used two. I used two. I used two. two. Yeah. He so I don't. Two. So I down to one now because I've used two. No, we're down to okay. we're down to two. I used two. We had six. I used two. You used two. We yeah. have two left. Okie dokie. There you go. Okay. Uh, level, 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 boom. That's a hit. Yeah. Don't don't say that as if I <laughs> that's a hit, but uh some of the damage is. There Good you luck. go. You have the damage on it. There you go. There you go. 13 damage. Hello, brutal. Resilience is seven. Thirteen becomes six. Yeah. Wow, it might even be able to resist this. I hope not. One wound. I don't have that much shock left. Thank God. Five shock. Oh, shit. No oh, shock. Okay, there we go. Seven. Okay, is that your turn? <clears throat> it is. Okay. 
Ivan. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to rush these guys. Okay. So are hiding in the shadows. Sorry? I'm gonna try to attack uh, these guys that are hiding in the shadows. Oh, you can you can see them. Yeah, not yeah, but very clear. my character, like my I, my token can't see, see, see them because they're outside well, of the. Well, okay. Well, you saw them shoot at you, so yeah, just rush, yeah. charge them in. So move up to them, and I, I think may... if you char if you're charging them, you get um. You get plus one bonus dice to attack. Yep. So include that. Mm hmm. Uh, what's the DM for hitting them? Two, right? DN is two, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be uh, selfish and spend one glory. You know, you can spend glory after you've rolled, right? That's true. Okay, I will not spend one glory. I will, might do it afterwards. And let's see if this hits. Yeah, you've hit. Yeah. It's one one away. Why? Oh, you've uh, got it. You've got it as a DN of four there, rather than a DN of two. Yeah, it's a yeah, DN but of two, that's two, my weapon is unwieldy. Uh... So I'm gonna re-roll it. See if it hits this time. Nope. Okay. Can I re-roll one of the times? No, I can't. Well, just just, uh, just roll an extra glory dice. Yeah. So, come on, dice. No. No. Damn it. Serve your arm of death, you missed. Right. Is that your turn? No, I'm done, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pain. All right, I'm going to. Hmm. I'm going to. Can I open this? How complicated it is to open this door that's in front of me, James? It's literally just a handle. Okay, so. Or it might even be a to... button. It's probably just a button you press and the door opens. Okay, so I don't I'm going to. It's, I'm gonna... it's a very old fashioned looking fucking carriage I made, all right? So, I mean, because I Homeboy, I mean, Homeboy just ran into the door, it gotta be, it's got to be pretty easy. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so because uh, it's for people, but that's how people would exit. You'd go to the end and come out that way, right? All right, I'm going to. Hmm. Fuckity fuck fuck. I don't know if I can tag. I I don't think I can afford to tangle with this gene stealer. So, I'm going to drop the last grenade yeah. that I have at my feet. I'm going to pull the pin, drop the grenade at my feet in my square, and I'm going to rush out. I'm going to head out this door. Okay. <laughs> I like your style. I yeah. like your style. I like your style. And you're met by a wall of fire. I thought it was out because he passed out. Oh, would it go out? Oh, yeah, Am I point. passed out? I'm not passed out. Hey, you are. You're knocked out. You're at full wounds. Oh, I am? Okay. Yep. I'm out. Yeah. Oh, let me clear shit then. Hang on. Yeah. Anyway, it, it, truth be told, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather face a wall of fire than a gene stealer. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> I consider, I, I just got done fighting a pack of these things. Yeah, you don't want no problems. I choose fire. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How far can you move? Uh, fuck six. Let me see my character sheet. Yeah, probably six. Boom, 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 boom. Stop, speed six, yeah. So let me. Okay, so you moved three. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. So so I'm assuming this train car is a little bit elevated. Yeah. So I'm gonna hop out the door and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna duck down below the thing so I'm outside the blast, you know. Well, if you go right, thing. if you go right or left, you'll be out you'll be around the wall anyway. Okay, so I'll I'll step to the left just once. 
Okay. And the grenade. Um, is, the grenade goes off is here. Six. Yep, it's six. So it does not hit any of my fellow player characters because they are seven away. So it's going to get the brunt. Let me roll this thing. Gear, grenade, stats. Damage is base damage is 10, four extra damage dice. Should be in your combat. If you just roll. Yeah, hold on. Just click one. Just roll for it. Just roll and then just fucking just roll damage or whatever. It's not letting me. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if it let me roll. Grenade. Quantity. Keywords. Do you have it equipped? Hold on. Let's, let me post the chat. Yeah, it's equipped. Did it post it to chat? Nope. All right. Post item. I want it. Po oh, wait. Am I I, is it because I'm on the... What are you doing? What are you trying to do? Sorry. I don't know. I'm trying to do something with a grenade. It won't let me click anything. Where are you clicking? Category grenade or missile. Right, it's go in combat. Com it's, go combat. combat. Click oh, it's going to war gear. Sorry, 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 sorry. I was in wrong. Sorry. Yes, sir. All right. All right, roll damage. All right, Hang damage on. 10. Hang on. If I rightly remember, you can dodge, you can dodge, exploit, uh, 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 area effect weapons. I can shift to add effect too, can't I? I want to shift to add more damage. Winning. I read it the other. I literally read it the other day. Oh, maybe it's area effects. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Ooh, this is cool. Um, Alex. anyone attacked by a blast weapon can attempt to dodge at, at dodge action as detailed in the dodging area effect attack. You cannot shift to increase the damage of a blast weapon. Uh, if you inflict a critical hit with a blast weapon, the effects I apply to all targets hit by the attack. So, and a dodge test is what? It's slightly below under scatter. I think it says uh, dodging area effect attacks. You, if you're caught in a blast radius or hit by a flamer, full defense combat option, adding plus one. It, Plus on any icons roll to your resilience instead of your defense. You can dive for cover, or you, uh, but you might not escape the full explosion or shrapnel. Okay, and a full defense does what? Full defense. Full defense. Full round action. Roll your initiative pool. Every icon increases your defense by plus one until the next turn. It adds to and it adds to resilience. Ah, fuck it. Just roll damage, Nathan. I can't bother. Uh, I rolled damage as a 10. 10? Yep. Fuck. Actually, let me... No, I'm not going to spend glory. 
<coughs> actually, yeah, I'm going to. No, I can't spend. Can I? I can't shift to up damage, but can I spend glory to increase damage? That's right. I think I can. Yeah. I can spend glory to increase damage. I'm going to spend two glory to increase damage, and I'm going to use. You've that only got shift. one glory left. There's no one. Okay, so I'm going to spend one glory to increase damage, and I'm going to use my shift to add one glory to the glory pool. Okay. Basically, yeah. Right. Well, um. Uh, roll a d six. Oh, you piece of crap. It rolled. It was on a six. All right. Ten. <laughs> All right, so 10 damage. Do they get their defense? I would assume so. I mean, it's normal. And it's, uh... Yeah, you still reduce resilience from the damage. He uses resilience to reduce the damage, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's if you're... You... Um... Uh, if you say, uh, um, yeah, they still got their defense to this. Mm -hmm. So five from ten is five. And then resilience is seven, so it takes one shock. I think. No, no, defense is how hard it is to hit. Resilience is how much damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, sorry. And, my... and then he's got to make a determination roll to try to soak the remaining damage. So, yeah, all right, so seven from three ten damage. is three. And then determination on that. Two takes three shock, all right. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep, let me uh enter. Okay. All right, he's dead. Nicholas, you're out cold. Oh no, you can't you're not out cold, you can um crawl. <laughs> you you can do real base you can only do so many things. You can crawl away. Okay. What else can I do? Crawl away. Basic combat action using no options such as aim or multi attack or fall back. Can I heal myself? Sure. You got it. I'm doing that. Yeah. What's the glory do... count at right now? Zero. One. Oh, is no, it? No, it's one? at one. All right. Uh, I'm going to do regeneration. Okay. Cool. So click on regeneration on the combat type on the combat thing. You got it. <laughs> I like seeing thirty dice go screaming across the screen for once. Oh, but why does it say heresy? Oh, because it's a DN10. Shit. Whoa. It has roll damage. I like that. <laughs> it says roll damage, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. It happens, man. You could you could roll it again next turn. Yeah, cool. Yeah. How much damage do you take? He doesn't take any damage. Yeah, the, you don't um, succeed, yeah, because you're in because you're injured, it makes it harder for you to do do things. Yeah. So uh, basically, if you receive, um, if somebody attacks you when your wounds are full, you receive um, uh, an injury, a traumatic injury. And okay. you can only take as many traumatic injuries as like one plus your rank, and then you're dead. Okay. Yeah, so. I got it. I'm in between a rock and a hard place. That's I okay. can't crawl. In. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's probably going to, uh, it's probably going to stop nomming on you and. Won't see it. Why, why does it say take damage, roll damage then? Is it a side effect if you fail? No, it's just because it's a, uh, it's a power. 
and all powers are set okay. up with a roll damage. Okay, Nicholas, is that your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Right, this one's going to fall back. Did you know? Did you know that um, when it disengages from you, you can take a reflexive attack? It's like an attack of opportunity in D&D. &D. No, no, it's falling back. Oh. Uh, if it falls back, it... it, 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 it uh, you can use your combat action to fall back from close combat with any number of threats. That's like a disengage. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Good to disengage know. with other words. Okay. Is that the turn? Oh, yeah. It's right, back at the top. Gene Steelers. Right, this Gene Steelers is going to disengage completely. And this one is also going to disengage. Oh, no, it doesn't need to disengage. It's going to fucking leg it. I like that. Leg it. I'm using that. I'm gonna leg it, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to leg it. Okay, Ivan. I'm not going to go like can I see any threats or enemies? Uh, no. No. Then I'm going to carefully move <laughs> around towards the entrance. Okay. And, and peek in. There's nothing there. Okay. I, I, I can't really move more than that unless I'm going to do a run. So. Okay. Fine. Um, I'm gonna move. Oh, by up the way, one. Oh, Sorry. all these fucking windows are smashed out. By the way, by the grenade, yeah. I'm assuming James, this guy down here is dead. Yes. Okay. I move up. I say, uh, I say, uh, left side's clear. I yell back. Right side clear. I'll stand impotently in the middle, missing my turn. Okay, attempted token movement collides with one wall. All right, come on, get out of the way. I'm going to move back uh, up to this this dead mage's person. Okay, and we're going to end the combat there. Bam. Yeah. Right, so, uh, yeah, uh, all they all just sort of disappear, basically, is what happens. Um, and you're now, the and you're, you're, you're now left here by yourselves. Uh, you, you know what's crazy about all this is that I'm wondering if 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 we would have been like, "Hey, give up that person and you'll leave," and we actually dump the body out the window, <laughs> what would have happened? They would have killed us anyway. Jeez. Yeah. Good day. Okay, gene stealers. Yeah. I know gene stealers. Yes, you gene do. stealers would have killed us anyway. Yes, Fuck you that. do, sir. Yes, you do, Sergeant Payne. There's only one thing you do with gene stealers. That's kill it with fire. Yeah, he needs. Uh, Nicholas needs some help. Oh, uh, yeah, Nicholas needs some uh, helping. Yeah, yeah the, uh, I'll I I'll medic him. I, I, I'll assist whoever is medicate doing the medicate. Organic yeah. mechanic. Neil, you should have been doing the Medicaid because your uh, skill level is what? Three. Is it three? Or yeah. four? Three. Oh. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you would have been healing three wounds as opposed to one wound. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, wait, wait, wait. Before we you go. roll. But I should have assisted you. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh. Well, well, are you actually adding anything? No, nope, that's just a straight up roll. I've got one shift there. No idea what that does. I assume that's an extra one. Healed. Because you should have had my intelligence in your medic case skill. What's your intelligence? Seven. So that's okay, because mine's four, so I'll add another I'll roll another three no, dice. Wait, wait, wait. That's then cool because 
as soon as I get up, I'm hitting regeneration. So it, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's cool. And then we detect three for my rank, which become automatic one, the successes of one. What? So one. So three successes for the, for the extra three. Sure, so okay. Uh, well, uh, I don't think you get anything extra, do you? Hang on. So nine successes, one shift. <coughs> I like how Neil just rolled that and turned to his book like he know what's going on. He's he's a Kobe Bryant of healing. Black <laughs> Mamba in the house. Let me check Medicaid. Medicaid. Healing wounds. Every shifted icon on a Medicaid intelligence test to restore wounds, restore one additional wound. Yeah, I told you. That's four wounds in total. There you go. Thanks, brother. You do that shit to me? Fuck. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay, don't hey. worry about it. I'm good. I'm patrolling. Allow me to reintroduce I myself. Read I read it and I didn't finish reading it. <coughs> Medicaid. Medicaid. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe I read the wrong thing. All right, whatever. Live and learn. Yep. All right, yeah, so you get four runes back, Nicholas. You bitch. Yeah, you're stop, still stop, wounded. Stop trying to be, stop trying to do that because you're going to end up causing a warp storm around us and we're all going to die. He's sitting there right. trying to power up. <laughs> like Vegeta. <laughs> it's gonna <sighs> it's nothing's happening. <laughs> sorry. 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 It's like pencils right. and shit and stuff's coming up off the ground and then it just drops. <laughs> it's just, a little rock. Yeah, yeah. A little rock like Superman. Like, like Superman. Shit. Like Superman. Yeah. <laughs> All right, troops. Right. So this tour sucks. We should get off this tour bus and Right. Ivan, contact the mages. We need to be extracted from here. We're stuck in a tunnel now. We need uh we need independent uh, transport, yeah. not not public transport. Yeah. I send him a message. Good day again. Beep boop beep boop boop. So what had happened was L4, you tell them we're getting out of here independently or i'm smacking people's mothers with hot fire will smith style I'm not playing with okay these so yeah so you contact the uh vegas yeah uh what did you so say you roll for it again no is this is this done verbally or is this done by typing typing text Text to Texting. I'll just say it. Give me the pad. I, I land you the pad. So I'll type. This is interrogator Davian Tor of the Auto <laughs> Inquisitors. We need extraction now from our current position by order of the Emperor. Send. Uh, you get a message back. What is your current location? You are the Adeptus Mechanicus. Track this signal. Send. <laughs> I look for any. Uh, I go outside and I look for any like indications of a stop or what tr or what rail line we're on. Like any maintenance, like any maintenance signs or maintenance like panels, uh, or whatever. Okay. Along the uh, you get a message back, Neil, uh, saying. Uh, transport en route. The Emperor protects. Send. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's, yeah, and I guess you get. Or uh, hail the Omnisire. Uh, and you get you get a message saying yeah, and the message includes please stay on board the the carriage. Yeah, Sergeant Payne, can you set up a defensive perimeter? I don't want those things coming back. Can we clean up what's left of that gene stealer and put it in a bag? 
Uh, yeah, I'm all out of bags, but well, I can haul this thing with us. Right. I'm scraping it up from the ground. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let the weirdo, like... Yeah. So if we take up positions, like, at the doors and the window, next to the windows, just, yeah. you know, on, on overwatch, just in case we get attacked again. Yep. To the windows. Yeah, you can see a light approaching from, like, from the way you was coming. All right. Contact. I got a light. Transport coming in. Ivan, friend of four. Uh, uh, I don't know yet. Too early to tell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This. Same. Yeah. As this. As this train, like the actual like vehicle, it's it's almost like you know, like you get those little industrial like diesel powered like locomotives, like those mm -hmm. little box ones. It comes like up, connects to the, slams into the um. Uh, magnetic lock carriage connect to connect to the um connect to the couplings and then starts dragging you back up all right and uh, when we're moving i turn and look on it's friendly we're... yeah thanks for that yeah <laughs> oh and Doing probably some servers to get out and like come on board and check you over to make sure you're fine so we had if this oh, isn't and... just and they probably go, where do you want to go? What's his name again? Aurelius? Yeah, Prefect Aurelius Residence. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Or Top his, spire. Office. his office. Top yeah. Spire. Roger. Roger Dodger. Roger I don't Dodger. know why they say that. For Roger the Roger. Emperor. <laughs> For the Emperor. <laughs> yeah, it says Roger Dodger. I shoot yeah, Roger. <laughs> 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 this thing's okay. defective. <laughs> And you get dragged, well, you get taken all the way back up to the central, uh, the main spire. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to, uh, when we get into comm, you know, we, we where we can use our communicators to, like, you know, do things. I'm going to send a message to um, Aurelius to say that we need a private um a private audience with him and by right. private i mean private um and we also need a com link up to veronius as soon as we arrive i will establish uh, yeah uh he will say yeah i will get that i'll get that sorted for you before okay. you arrive cool okay yeah. you arrive back at the uh beautiful top spire uh it's you know the 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 difference between the two you know the the, the areas that you're in are like drastically different this place is almost like pa paradise so you know compared to where you was this is like paradise yeah so and, yeah, the, and the servitors take you through to take you straight out and through the area some enforcers join like escort help escort you towards the uh um let's go back to this one uh, i'll go to uh, prefect sorry. i'll go to davia and you want to talk to prefect and i'll go uh, i'll go radio uh validius yeah no, i'll go i'll go radio uh Veronius. Veronius. yeah, yeah. I don't know what we found. Yep. Okay, who wants to go first? You can, Nathan. All right. Yeah, I'll go to the, the box room, grab the radio, and uh, I don't know what our call sign is. Away team. We're away team. Wait. All right. We're, yeah, so uh, I'll say, uh, yeah, Veronius, this is Payne, Sergeant. Sergeant Payne? Yep. How's it going? Uh, not good, sir. We've got a uh, we've got a gene stealer infestation. We've tracked uh, we've tracked a problem with the missing uh, the missing governor. Um, he was murdered, and uh, we tracked to a gene stealer cult in the lowest levels of the uh, of the hive city. Um, we engaged um, had a we had a prisoner. We're bringing him back, and we're engaged again by actual gene stealers. 
and I don't, uh, um, Davian's talking with, uh, with Aurelius now, but it looks like we're going to need more help if we want to, uh, if we want to root this out, we were unfortunately unable to eliminate all of the, uh, all of the members of the second group that attacked us. Roger. Right. Um, give me a few hours. I will get, I will get you some support. Roger, we'll keep you posted. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he says, uh, just relax and, uh, yeah, stay put. Stay where you are. Mm. Roger, out. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. I'm uh, okay. suddenly mourning the fact that my excruciator was on the Magus when it got blown up. R.I.P. excruciator. Um, so I will uh, walk slowly into the um, the chamber of um, the prefect, yep. um, with uh, flanked by my two uh, two colleagues. Um, One more bean up than the other. And I'll say um, to him, what do you know about what's going on down in the very depths of your hive? If there's anything you haven't been telling us, now would be a really, really good time to confess. He says, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by that? I lock eyes with him and I'll say, do you know anything about what's going on down there that has resulted in the death of the governor, the disappearance of a number of nobles and a potential threat to the entire Imperium? Speak now, speak openly and speak honestly. Well, he says, all I know is that, is that the people down... All I know is that they've uh, the, the the imperial citizens down there have have put down their tools. That is a recent development. In the last couple of hours. Yes. Do you know we why? Some, no idea. We've sent in forces to find out what's going on. Right, those enforcers are probably dead now. What? Say it to him. Under the governor's watch, and therefore your watch, and the other prefect's watch, a brood, an infestation of the gene stealer cult, has masticized down in the depths of your hive world. We've That's seen... news to me. <laughs> at that point, I'm just going to slap him. Ah! And I'll say, at this point, you aren't trying to avoid trouble. You have, by ignorance or willful uselessness, allowed a planet to nearly fall to the hands of the enemy. Whether it's news to you is neither here no, there, I'm telling you now, we've seen gene stealers, actual bodily gene stealers. They nearly tore my friend apart here. And they're down there. People. Oh, fix it. Holding. Then. I'm just going to punch him again. I'll, actually, I'll punch him this time. On cue, I'll just... I, come, uh, I come walking in. I'll just lamp him on a bonk. <laughs> Like send a, uh, him back into his chair and I'll say, fix it, fix it. If I had the resources to fix it, boy, would I fix it. I would burn this entire place to the ground. 
if I really wanted to, I would come back with the people who could fix this. And then I would declare your entire planet an absolute disgrace to this empire. It clearly has no way of fulfilling its remit as an agriculture world because your leadership is so bad. I would take this planet, I would declare it a full hive world, and I would tithe it. Not of the slop that you produce in your oceans, but of the men, women of this planet. And I would make sure it was the noble children that were first in line to the Astra Militarum in the penitent legions. So don't tell me to sort it. You should have sorted it. Now we're going to have to clear up your mess. You speak to me like that one more time, you little worm, and I will ram this chainsaw so far up you, you'll wish you were the bloody beacon that would show us the way back out of the warp. Now do your job or fuck off and die. Fucking talk to him, King. Talk to so, him, King. So I walk in and I'm like, uh, I'm like, I go to one of the one of the uh, enforcers that's kind of standing off to the side. And I'm like, uh, give me the uh, give me the ground force commander and get him in here now. We need to establish control before things get too out of hand. And then I go to uh, to Davia and I'm like, hey, I got off the line with Veronius. Um, resources and backup is uh, is incoming ETA two hours. Good. I recommend we uh, I recommend we shut off all access to the lower levels and stop movement and try to contain whatever's down there down there and uh, keep production just in shipping just on the upper levels uh, active. I'll wipe the, 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 the froth from my mouth and I'll say right. to the prefect, do you understand what's going to happen now? Do you have any idea what's going to happen? No, you don't. Th Look at your I clueless think, little face. What's going, <laughs> what's going to happen is that we are going to close down that lower portion of, portion of your hive world. We're going to have all of your bulk doors closed. We're going to section this place off. And then, and then, the absolvers are going to arrive. Yeah. Yes? And they don't hang out because they look good in black. No. Um, we are going to call the Adeptus Astartes in, and those brothers in battle will cleanse the lower part of this hive. And maybe in a generation's time, we'll have ensured that all of this staying has gone, and this place can start to serve the Emperor again as it should. Do you understand? He nods. Good. Until then... We need to be absolutely sure that every single person on, <laughs> within these noble families is pure and unsullied. So we're all locked down, all of them as well. We need to, we, basically, we're going to have to put this entire hive city into quarantine and um, begin testing people to see whether they've been infected. <clears throat> Uh, okay, uh, whatever resources you need. Good, because and I, I just like growl a little bit under my breath. I say good, because next time we ask for things to help you, don't make us beg for them. And I like pop the Vox bead out of my ear. And you know, all the resources, all of it. And then I'll turn around. And I'll say, okay, gentlemen, we need to prepare to, you know, to interrogate an entire city. And we also need to welcome our friends of the Adeptus at Stardis. The Emperor protects. W4. And that he does. Uh, okay. May I suggest flooding low levels? So I'm going to talk to the uh, ground commander when he gets in here. For the, for okay. the, the defense force or whatever it is they're using for a police force. <clears throat> all right yeah he comes in all right yeah hey uh how many uh, do you have enough men and resources to block off the lower levels we're gonna need to lock off uh well, we, well um the 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 lower battalion has 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 uh this past few hours has gone dead yeah because they're they are dead 
uh, the lower the lower uh, the lower hive lower portion of the hive is completely uh, is completely gone against it in complete rebellion. And we need to uh, we need to seal them off so they can't affect the rest of the hive or they can't affect any more sabotage or damage. Okay, I will activate the uh, uh, lockdown protocols then. All right. Yeah. Activate any any troops that are off duty, anything, and get them uh, get them stationed on all those. Uh, uh, all those exits and and um, throughways. We're dealing with gene stealers. You hear a gunshot in the room you're in. I'll look around. Uh, you see, uh, uh, Aurelius slumped to the slump on his desk with a pistol in his hand. All right. I was stood watching him. Oh, How would you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm oh. stood in front of him like lambasting him. <laughs> no, but this is after you had lambasted him. And, after and I then... turned around and spoke to them, he's done yeah. for himself. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I shouldn't really be laughing. That's horrible. Nice. Um sees which way the red tape's going. Uh from this point, I go to the commander. Uh, from this point forward, you're either with us or uh, whoever's whoever's here is either with us or against us. Okay. There's no more interpretation. There's no more second guessing. It's either follow orders or you get the gun. Okay. All right. Is right there, what are your is... orders, sir? Yeah, seal off the lower level. Uh, okay. Make protocol sure everybody... has been protocol has been activated. Yeah. yeah. And uh, mobilize any troops that are off duty or any reserve troops that you have. And post them at the uh, post them at those points. We're dealing with gene stealers, so it's not like a couple locked doors are going to keep them in. Okay. All right. Okay, we will yeah. we will cover air vents as well. Right. Yeah, all the tubes. Is there any sort of? I'll ask the servitors. Well, I'll first clean up that traitor's body. Um, but I'll ask them: Is there any um, sort of Pan City communications network? You know, is there any way to address everybody at the same time? Oh yeah, like yeah. It? There's a yeah. There's a uh, you know, a, a, a PA system. Okay, can you take me to it? Yeah, you take me to the wall. I'll try. I'll think, try not to terrify the lot. But... Do you think we need a curfew? I think we need to lock the yeah. entire place down. Yeah, put everybody. Put everybody. Whatever. Whatever shipping is loaded can be mm-hmm. shipped, but everybody else has to. Everybody else has to get to the uh, houses and stop. And business. yeah, and uh, yeah, this 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 sergeant, like whatever captain or whatever he is, uh, he says, um, "Long long range scanners are detecting something coming in from the atmosphere fast." Ominous, I'd be praised. Yeah, can you can you get the can you get to the scanner and see what it is? <laughs> I don't need to. I don't need to stick, scan to know what it is. <laughs> right. What is yeah, it? Me. <laughs> well, it if, if if it is true that we are getting supported by the Ho- Emperor's holy vengeance, then that—that's a drop pod. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it's a drop pod and not something nasty. Um, this is a drop pod. Christmas came early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, um, I'll, whilst he's checking out what it is, um, I'll take up the PA. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, loyal citizens of Caribbean. Um, my name is, I'm just going to promote myself. My name is Inquisitor Davian Tor of the Ordo Hereticus. Matters have transpired, which mean that martial law has had to be installed in this hive. Do not panic. Take yourselves... Famous words. Take yourselves yourselves to your habitats. Close and lock the doors. In one hour's time, we will be enforcing a curfew where anybody outside of their habitats will be shot and killed on sight. Do not panic. Because if you roll with them, we're going to fuck you up with them. This includes all members of noble houses, 
and everybody down to the people who follow the true emperor's desire to feed and nourish his troops in the agri farms. Everybody is locked down. Do not panic. Hell Cobra. The emperor protects. <laughs> Inquisition out. So yes, as you head down to the Scanny system, whatever, whatever it's called, yep. uh, you hear something clang outside, like thud against the uh, landing pad outside. Mm-hmm. That better be a that better be a, a friendly thud. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll take a look. Yeah, it's uh, 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 it's it's a uh, it's a squad of space uh, of of uh, a, a dest. Uh, Adeptus of Starters. No. Astartes. No. Yeah, yeah, it's Adeptus of Starters. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's because the fucking they've changed the Imperial Guard's name. Oh, I'm going to call them. I'm going to call the Astra Imperial Militarum. Guard. Uh, Imperial Guard. Thank you. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. use the right term here. Uh, no, no, it's a squad of custodies. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, squad of Imperial Guard. Guard. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll move up to address him. No, no, it's and not Imperial shall... Guard. It's, 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 uh, it's Space Marines. Oh, okay. That's it. That's just call them for the Space Marines. Yeah. Adeptus Astartes, all right. Adeptus Astartes. These massive, <laughs> like, eight-foot-tall warriors come charging out, well, sort of, like, the, the sides of the drop pod open. Um, there's no... Is there a signal on it? Probably. But we'll figure that out next week. Yeah. And or just we'll... back and have the Imper- uh, Inquisitorial insignia. If I don't know if there's any Death Watch in this, but we could no. say they're Death Watch. Rogue what do you call that? Death Watch attachments. What's that? What's that psychological thing that people uh, experience when they see a Stardust? It's like transhuman awe uh, or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh... angels. But yeah, next week uh, you'll be taking the roles of the Space Marines. Boop boop. Solid. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, start thinking about what you're gonna like. Try and make. We'll try and make some characters or whatever. Uh, we'll do, we'll do it during the week. So it's not next week. It's the week after. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah two. I've got two weeks to sort this out. <laughs> Librarian. I called it. No. No fucking psychic powers. What? Fuck off. Fucking hate Come them. Come on. What? What are you talking about? I just. All right. That's fine. Do I even have rules for psychic librarians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're in there. Can can we bring the space wolves? Oh, yeah, what chapter are they? Yeah, that, that, well, that's if the if the if the deaf come deaf not deaf watch company, Death Death watch, watch. they could be any chapter. It could be whatever. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. All right. Well, my guy is a space wolf, and he's bringing a wolf, and he's got chain teeth in his mouth. Yeah, just remember you have to. So, if we're doing this, if we're going to do it this way, you're going to have to know how your character works inside and out. You got yep. it. Check. Check and Roger. Right. Okay. Well, with that, we're going to end the session. We've got about fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes early. Ain't too bad. It works. Right. Okay, let's do some shout-outs. So, Neil, where can we find you, and what do you do? Uh, you can find me at uh, on usually on Twitter at, at @vodkashock, and you can find me online at omnihedron.co.uk, where you can read my musings on gaming and other stuff. Cool. Oscar, still nothing. Brilliant. Uh, Mason. Marcus, Mason, Marcus. Yes, uh, White Rabbit Podcast on the RSS feed uh, dot com. Um, I'll be uploading uh, some more podcasts there. Uh, when I get big enough, I'll be uploading to all the DSPs, uh, Spotify, and uh, Apple iTunes uh, podcasts. Okay, and Nathan. Yep, uh, Godless Polecat, anywhere to care to find me online. And uh, 
haven't finished my uh, or haven't gotten my adventure ready to to publish. But when it does, I'll let everybody know. Cool. Uh, and don't forget, check out the social uh, stuff I've got. Join Discord if you haven't done already. Follow me on Twitter. And yeah, if you're watching this on Twitch, don't forget to follow me on YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube and use Twitch, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. All the links are in the description below. But thank you very much. And we will see you next time. See you later.